going on, Jackaholics? I know it's been a while, but I came on a special day today. Guess what today is? It's my birthday! Yeah! I am turning 22 today. God, I still feel young. And a bit mindless, still. Anywho, um, today should be a happy day, which it is, but I am here on business because apparently I have a friend of mine. You guys know him well. His name is Scorpion. He gets on here. He's been doing cause for the last couple years now. And I have a problem with this new thing on the, the uh, WWE games called Texture Hacks. Now, what the Texture Hacks can do, from what I see, make the characters look more like the in-game characters or some of the characters that aren't in the game look more live-like. Okay. I understand that that texture hack is cool and all. I get that. But when it overshadows other creators, creations in this community showcase, it sort of pisses me off. Especially if it's a friend of mine that gets overshadowed. Now, my buddy put up a, a Brock Lesnar last year that was on the community showcase once. Okay. A few months later. I see another Brock Lesnar with a texture hack that had a higher view than my uh, my brother Scorpion's Brock Lesnar. I was pissed and he was pissed and that's why I'm putting up this rant because I honestly I don't like this new thing called texture hacks I really I really don't um, it's really making call creators lazy in my opinion it's really making them lazy I mean the fact that my brother works so hard on all these calls, he works on people that that are requested to him, everybody that's requested to him. I mean, he's even done Fred Durst from that was some uh, that was requested to him, and he's done. Oh my God, I'm at a loss for words even trying to explain how good this Fred Durst is. But he did a tremendous job on that Fred Durst. It looks amazing. Uh, one of my favorites. He even done a request for me was Yokozuna. I always love Yokozuna. He's always funny because I love Mr. Fuji too. He did Yokozuna a few um, few years ago, and it looked tremendous. I mean, he he busts his ass night and day working on these cars, and I wish you guys would know how long he sits on the paint tool to work on these cars to bring to bring more life to them. Even though he's He's been working on these cars for a long time. I just wish you guys understood how much hard work and dedication he puts into these creations for people to see and for people to download. Like, I mean, the most recent incredible work I've seen him do was Lynn Oddity. And by God, Lynn Oddity, I have not even watched any of his matches, but I saw one of his promos and I fell in love with his character. And then when I saw Scorpion put up his um, his car in a video and showed me a, a bit of uh, what he's done with Lenotity, it's, it's just simply amazing. And he wasn't even finished, yeah, he wasn't even finished. I mean, I, I, I really want to know, what is the satisfaction with car creators putting in the texture hacks? I, besides the fact that it makes the character look more live-like, which is completely stupid. I mean, if you don't, if you if you have to use a texture hack, that obviously means you need more work with face morphing. It really does. You need a lot more work to do with face morphing. I'm not good with face morphing. That's why I don't do my car creations. And from the looks of it, most of the people, like for example, the Big Show, the one that my brother posted a couple weeks ago, the Big Show. A lot of people say it looks just like the looks just like the in-game character, if not better. So, why is it that is on smacktalks.com or .org or whatever, and it went from a a 10 star rating, and all of a sudden somebody mentions having the, uh, what was it, the tattoo, the tattoo hack? Somebody mentions the tattoo hack in the comments, and it went from a 10, point ra a 10 star rating to a 6 star rating. Not feeling that, man. I'm not feeling that. And I'm emailing Smack Talks back and forth. He's steady defending people who use text hacks. And you know what? 
I, I'm at the point where I should just give up because he's obviously not getting where I'm coming from about texture hacks. I really don't think he gets it. He really needs to make a lot more better choices when he's looking through community showcases. And I know my brother is still going to keep putting up these creations he's been working his ass off on for that site for people to realize that you don't need texture hacks to make badass cause. But I swear if I see one more bad review and someone mentioning fucking texture hacks, I'm going to put up a rant video about pricks like you and I might get taken off the fucking air. I swear to God. But you know what? I got to be cool. It's my birthday. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like, comment about the texture hacks, how you guys feel about it. Please don't say the wrong thing. Please don't say the wrong thing. And I'll catch you guys another time.